What is acute rheumatic fever? Acute rheumatic fever is an illness caused by a germ called streptococcus or strep A, which causes sore throats and skin sores. It can be passed between people by touching, coughing, and sneezing. In some people, if sore throats and skin sores are not treated early with antibiotics, an illness called rheumatic fever develops. Rheumatic fever can cause painful, swollen joints, fever, uncontrolled jerky movements and inflammation or swelling of the heart. There is no single test that can be done to diagnose rheumatic fever, but it is very important to get diagnosed quickly at the local health service or hospital because it can have long lasting effects on the heart. What is rheumatic heart disease? The symptoms of rheumatic fever usually go away in a few weeks, but in some people, if the heart has been involved, the valves can be left damaged or scarred, which means the heart does not pump blood around the body effectively. This is called rheumatic heart disease. Every time someone gets rheumatic fever, there may be more damage to the heart valves and the heart disease gets worse. Sometimes open heart surgery is needed to repair or replace the heart valves. Who gets this disease? Rheumatic fever and rheumatic heart disease used to be common in most areas of Australia, but as living conditions improved, houses became less crowded, so the chance of strep A being passed between people was reduced. As access to healthcare improved, it's all but disappeared from most of Australia. It is mostly seen now in Aboriginal, Torres Strait Islander, and Pacific Islander populations. Children aged between 5 and 14 years are most at risk for a first episode of acute rheumatic fever. Why do school staff need to know about this disease? School staff are well placed to identify children who are not well. Children with any of these symptoms should be seen by a health professional as soon as possible. Sore throat, skin sores, sore or swollen joints, particularly the knees, ankles, elbows and wrists. Fever, jerky movements in the body or face, changes in the quality of riding or new difficulty walking. What can you do to help prevent rheumatic fever? Encourage kids to report sore throats and get them checked out by a health professional. Strep throat will not develop into rheumatic fever if treated with antibiotics early enough. Make sure that hand washing with soap is encouraged during the school day and that the facilities are available to do so. There is good evidence that hand washing with soap is effective in the prevention of skin sores. Be aware of the exclusion policy at the school. Strep A in skin sores is very contagious and should be covered with a watertight dressing. Work together with the school, health services and community to encourage the children who have had rheumatic fever or who have rheumatic heart disease to get regular antibiotic injections every 21 to 28 days. These injections are the best way to prevent further rheumatic fever and manage rheumatic heart disease. School staff play an important role in supporting children with chronic medical conditions. It is important that children get their injections on time and attend medical appointments as required. Sore throats and skin sores are not a normal part of childhood. If you are concerned about any of your students, Please refer them immediately to the local health facility 